Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, I have shown you how to ingest the data into the lake house using data flows end. I hope you have watched that video. If you have not yet watched that video, please get the link from the top. In today's video, I am talking about how to ingest the data into the lake house using data pipeline. But the problem is, I am uploading a CSV file using data pipeline and that CSV file is not very good. It has so many errors. And also certain columns need to be cleaned up. So I'm going to transform the data using notebook. That means I'm explaining you how to use PySpark within that how to use the SQL statements as well. If you are new to PySpark, definitely this video is going to be useful to you. And also I have touch based most common problems while dealing with such data in CSV or Excel so that it's very easy to understand. Once that is done, I've shown how to push that data into Delta table and how to set up semantic model and then create a report. My request is to watch the video till the end to understand the concept. My another request is kindly give your feedback, which is very valuable to me. Do subscribe and also please share this with many and keep watching. To begin with, I need to create one fabric enabled workspace. I'm just going to the workspaces, new workspace. I can give any name. The name of the workspace is data pipeline demo. And in advanced, I need to select the trial because I'm using the trial license for fabric and apply. Now I can add a new item. I need to add a lake house, a new item search for lake house and data pipeline demo. You should not have spaces in between. Otherwise it will throw an error and create it. Now I have two sections, tables and files. I'm using the data pipeline and ingesting the data into files, a CSV file. I have a CSV file stored inside GitHub repository. I will share the link with you guys on request, so which I am going to use now. So I'm just selecting new data pipeline. Pipeline name is CSV to file create, and I'll be using the copy data assistant. And I'm uh, going to these options, new sources, view more, and search for HTTP. Then I need to add the URL, click on next so that I can access the data, connect to the data source and it is a delimited file i'm getting the data through the request mode get and the file format is delimited text column delimiter is comma and it is loading the preview and schema i need to make sure that the first row as header i need to check that and by default it is taking care of that i need to translate this into files and i need to search for the location browse since i have not created any separate folder for it so i'm selecting the root folder and press ok and i can give a file name i can say report.csv and press next so add header to the file that is by default selected click on next and you can see the copy summary from the delimited text to the delimited text you can run this later if you check this the moment you click on save and run the pipeline will run so let me click on save and run now the copy data activity is added and it is now started running and now you can see it is queued based on the kind of data you are transferring it takes the time it will not take much time because it's a very small file and it is successful now if i go to the lake house and go to files and refresh i can see the file report csv is added We can push the CSV file into a delta table directly using options load to the delta table. But in this CSV we have certain issues need to be cleaned some data type issues are there and in a few columns the data is not in a proper order. I need to prepare the data for that I am using notebook. Within the lake house experience you can see open notebook and there I can add a new notebook. I can name the notebook as CSV2 table. Within the notebook, in the available cell, the first step is I need to import all functions and types because I'm going to prepare the data or transform the data where I need to have the column operations and aggregations, string functions, date and time functions, windows functions and many more. Same way I need to change the data types like I need to work with integer types, float types and uh, string types. For that I need to import the function. The code will be from pyspark.sql.functions import all. The best practice is import only the required functions but for the demo purpose I'm using all functions. 
functions same way from pyspark.sql.type import all now what is this pyspark sql the pyspark sql module in pyspark is used for working with structured data or semi structured data using data frame api and sql queries i need to define the data frame df equal first i need to read the file from the file folder so let me find out the path if i go to the lake house and if i go to the file three dots and if I go to the properties, I can find the relative path, copy that and come back to the notebook. Now I need to define the data frame path.read.format and that format is CSV. We need to define that the CSV file has got headers. So options, it's so only option, comma, true. That means header is there. And along with that, load the file path is. Now let us read the entire data frame, display DF and it will show the complete data, run the code. And that is how we have the outcome. I need to look at the data and understand if any redundant columns are there. For example, registration number. This column is not required for me to create the final outcome. So I can remove this column from this table. df equal df.drop and the column name. And if I run the code, that column will be gone. In the data frame, I have a problem with the date of joining column. This date is day, month, again, the date in the numeric form and year. I need to get rid of this particular piece of information that is the name of the week. And then I can later convert this remaining portion into a proper date. Currently, the data type is ABC. So I need to use regular expression replace. Basically, regular expression replace to modify a column with a substring, only part of the string. So the code will be df equal df dot with column. The column name, I'll be using the same column date of joining and then regular expression replace the column name again date of joining comma the expression will be so this is the regular expression and accordingly this particular character will be removed let me run the code and you can see the date is now proper but still it is not date it is a text we need to convert this into a date i'm extending the same line of code dot with column the column name is Again, date of joining, comma. I need to convert it to a date. The column name is date of joining, comma. The format currently is in the form of complete month names. MMMM -M -M. should write only the uppercase M. If you type the lowercase M, it will become minutes. D, I'm not using DD, I'm using D because it is seven and 10. It is not zero, seven and 10. So only one D comma and space Y, 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 Y. And now it will become a proper date. Let me run the code. Now you can see this is a date data type. Now I need to add three additional columns where I want to have month, month name and year. So this will be in a separate line. df equal df dot with column. Column name is month, which is nothing but month number. Function is month and the column name is date of joining. Then dot again with column. I want month name comma. I need to set the date format. Column is date of joining. From there, I need to extract only MMM, month, month, month. Dot with column. Column name will be year, the new column name. And then year column from where I need to extract, that is date of joining. Now, in the right side, we'll get three columns. Now, let me run the code. So, month is a number. Month name is only three characters. And I have year in the number format. If you look at the distribution of department column by just clicking on this column, I can see anomalies, finance, one more time finance, again finance, and then fin. And there is one more value where in finance, middle character is having uppercase. That means improper character. So I need to make sure that these strings are properly constructed. So finance will have only one finance and all improper character values should be brought into proper case. For that, I need to write the code. So the next step, df equal df dot with column and the column name is department. This is basically the new column, but I don't want to create a new column within the same column. I want to do the changes. I want to trim the column and the column is department dot with column. Again, the column is department comma init cap. That means the initial character will be capital and other characters will be normal. So it's a proper case and the column is department and if i run the code i can see the distribution in a proper manner so let me run the code again 
now let me select department column to see the distribution now only one finance is there and now i'm seeing null values and also there is one more problem in this which you're not able to see here because the place is less look at here admin has another value with improper characters like admn i need to replace them to admin and also i need to replace null values to any proper value and i need to convert finance to fin so all these things i need to take care through a sql statement To write the SQL statement, it will be the new line of code df equal df dot with column. The column name is department comma. We need to use a function expression and then I'm writing the SQL statement within this uh, brackets. So it should be written in this manner. Three double quotes in the beginning, three double quotes in the ending and between the double quotes, you will get the statement and we are using the case statement case when department is null then it should be fin so any one value i'm just adding when department like so here in pyspark sql we write r like so a d m n then it should be admin when department r like finance then it should be just fin else whatever is there in the department values let it be there and then end now this will give us the distribution of the department column proper we will reduce the values and we will get a proper case values and no spelling mistakes and everything is fine let me run the code now let us look at the distribution department and if i expand it we'll find fin no finance now we have removed that and admin hr and all the column names are proper there is one more problem in this data frame look at the duration column this is a text column it's supposed to be a number column since it is having certain uh, string values it is showing as a text if i look at the distribution i can understand what are they some division error some any error since i have taken this data from an excel there the values are not properly been input so now these errors are coming so i need to get rid of them and i need to replace them with a proper value then only i can convert this column into a number column for that let me start adding the code df equal df dot with column so indentation is important here the column name if i want a new column i can add the new column name but since i want to use the existing column same column i'm adding dot regular expression replace on column duration and then the regular expression will be and that need to be replaced with any number I'm just replacing with 20. Now this will give me all string values replaced with 20. And then I need to translate that back to integer. So df equal df dot with column. Again, if I want a new column, I can add, but I'm using the existing column, the column and in which the uh, integer type need to be done. That is duration column dot cast integer type. And this will be turned into a number. So let me run the code. Now you can see the duration column is a number. It will show a different uh, distribution and different exploratory analysis. I need to calculate the fees collected from each student as a separate column. The name of the column will be fees and it is coming from the duration column. Since I have the duration column in a proper number format, I can create the fees column now. Let me add a new column by using the formula df equal df dot with column and it will be the new column. The column name is fees and let me use case statement. When the column duration is less than equal 15, then it has to be a fixed fees of 15,000 dot when column duration less than equal 35 then it will be column duration multiplied by 900 dot when column duration less than equal 50 then column duration multiplied by 800 dot otherwise this is the else statement column duration multiplied by 700 and this statement will give me column fees so here i am creating the scenario the first statement is telling that it is a fixed fees after that all other logics are basically dependent on the per hour fees let me run the code to see the outcome fees calculated the value is there and it is a number
Now I can write this transform data into a delta table, but one small problem because one column name is having a space. So in the table, it will not be accepted. It will not allow. For that, I need to make sure that this column name is properly renamed. So that is another step. This will be df equal df dot with column renamed. We are renaming a column. Old column will be sales space rep and new column will be without space. And if I run the code, you can see the table, the data has a proper column. Now I can write this to a delta table. df dot write and dot format is delta dot mode. I want to append the data time to time whenever I have an incremental data. I want to replace that with the new data and save as a table and the table name is revenue finally if i run this code in the lake house table section i can see the new table code runs successfully let me go back to lake house go to the table section and just click on refresh and i have the revenue table created While checking the outcome, which is a delta table, I have noticed one small issue. The duration column is showing blank values. Actually, these values should be 20 because I replaced wherever error values were there with 20 using regex replace function, but it is not happening. So I need to tweak the code a little bit. Now let me jump into code, the notebook. There, let me change this 20 to 0 and then I need to add a code df df dot with column duration wherever that error was there it will be replaced as 0 and I want to replace 0 with some value I'm assuming that wherever error value was there I have not put the value properly so I'm assuming that that will be a minimum value 8 hours so duration when column duration less than 1 then it should be 8 otherwise dot otherwise column duration same value will be kept as it is now i should not use append here earlier i have used append it should be overwrite if i use append these records will be added again earlier there were some 800 rows were there now it will become 1600 rows i don't want that i want the same 800 rows are replaced with the new data because i did a mistake here so that is the reason i have used the mode as overwrite and i need to run the code currently if you look at the table the table has blank values and now if i run the code code is running and it is success let me go back to the lake house and refresh the table now you can see the updated table with updated values and the minimum fees now i can use the sql analytics endpoint either i can create a new semantic model or i can use the existing model and manage the default semantic model and select what are the tables to be part of my semantic model to sync the update go to home go to settings their default power bi semantic model Model, sync the default Power BI semantic model on and now whatever pipeline updates are happening will be hitting the semantic model directly and then I can go to the reporting and create one new report or else I can go to the workspace I can use the default semantic model and then open it I can explore the data and I can auto create a report or create a blank report or create a paginated report let me click on auto create report and the report is ready view the report and this is the final outcome